An update now on Monday's shooting at Springfield High School of Science and Technology. Police and city leaders are battling with misinformation being shared regarding the incident. 22 News reporter Kaylee Collins is live in studio with the role that social media played in the investigation. Well, Ciara Nick, we know that 22 year old Josiah Livingston of Hartford has been arraigned in relation to this incident with another suspect details on another suspect yet to be released, but please do say that social media has been a bit of a hindrance as the investigation continues. Investigators continue to piece together what led to Monday's gunfire incident at SciTech in Springfield. Police say that one person was injured after being pistol whipped, but no one was shot. Accounts of the chaotic moment on social media, though, painted a different picture. What was on social media was little tidbits of stuff. No one was shot. Um, passing that information along would just be a lie. Officials addressing the online frenzy during a news conference Tuesday night. The social media forced us to come out with a statement a little bit before we would have liked to. As you can imagine, it was a chaotic scene. We had many people to interview and we had hours of video footage to go through. In some circumstances, social media can be helpful, but in other cases like this, it can actually hinder a police investigation. Detectives take time and their due diligence to get to the facts, and sometimes it's, it's not like a TV show. Sometimes it can take hours or days or weeks in some cases. That's what we want to do. We want to be accurate in our charges, and we want to be accurate with who was involved. And Springfield Police tell 22 News that all those involved with Monday's incident have been identified, though that information has not yet been made public. Working for you, Kaylee Collins, 22 News.